Okay, so what are we talking about here? Well, this is something called a permutation, and this is uh, something called a combination, and you're gonna study uh, this topic, if you're, let's say, at the Algebra 2 level, pre-calculus level, college algebra level, there's a lot of different maths at that particular level that you could uh, run into permutations and combinations, but you certainly will uh, run into them. Okay, you need to understand this. Now, let me just say right up front, I'm going to compute these permutations and combinations by hand, but in your calculator, uh, you can also do these calculations, and you should be familiar with how to do that as well. But uh, if you never heard of permutations and combinations, stick around. You'll definitely be able to learn this. This is going to be a basic review of this, and we're going to actually do one prompt for permutations and one prompt for combinations to kind of explain what they are and how to calculate them. So I'm going to get into this in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Now, uh, first things first, if you think you know what to do here, and you can calculate this, um, and if you want to use your calculator, that's fine too. You would need a calculator like a TI-83, TI-84, something like that. Um, now, every calculator is a little bit different, but you can, you'll can you need to know how to use these uh, graphing scientific calculators to be able to compute these things if you're at this level, like, again, you know, Algebra 2, uh, pre-calculus, okay? Learning or understanding your calculator is kind of part of uh, learning uh, math at that level as well. So, again, you know, I'm going to show you how to do this by hand by using the formulas for this, but you need to understand how to use your calculator. All right, now, as we... Um, use these formulas, we're going to run into a notation called factorial. Now, I'm doing this for the um, benefit of those of you that may you never heard of a permutation and combination and, and you want to learn this. So in order to understand how the formulas for both the permutation and combination, we need to understand factorial, okay, because this is part of the formula. So here I have four factorial. So if you've never seen this before, what this means any number factorial, so here I have 4 factorial, it could be 5, 10, doesn't make a difference. What this means is that we're going to multiply, okay, we're going to take this 4, and we're going to just start counting down, okay, starting from 4, and then we're going to go down by 1. So this is 3, 2, and 1, and we're going to multiply these numbers. So it's going to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and then, of course, we can compute this. This is 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24, or, and 24 times 1 is 24. So 4 factorial is 24. So a quick review on what factorial is. There's a, you know, a little bit more about factorial that uh, uh, you need to understand. So hopefully you already are aware um, how to work with factorials. If you aren't, you might want to check out some of my other videos and my Algebra 2 pre-calculus uh, playlist on my YouTube channel, or maybe just sign up for my pre-calculus course or Algebra 2 course, and uh, you'll learn everything you need to know. All right, so uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at permutations. Okay, so here is the formula for permutations, but it doesn't really even do us any uh, kind of good uh, unless we even understand what we're talking about, right? Well, what a permutation is, is let's imagine you had n objects, okay, and you want to take k at a time, all right? So you're given n objects, and you want to take k at a time. But when you're doing that, whatever the problem is, order is important, okay? The amount of objects you take, uh, k objects you take from n objects, the order is important. So really, that doesn't make a lot of sense until you look at a problem like this. All right, so let's consider this little word problem. It says, how many ways can four students uh, from a group of 15 be lined up in a picture? Okay, so we have 15 students, and we want to take four students. How many different ways can they be lined up? So here I have one student, two student, three student, four students. So we have one, and we have one there, we have one here, we have one here, and we have one here. So now let me ask you, is order important? Well, of course, right? Because it's how many different ways these students can be lined up in a picture. Maybe we'll go from the tallest to the shortest or vice versa. So 
this is a situation where order is important. So 4, okay, we're going to take four, 4 out of 15. All right, so this is an example of a permutation. Again, this is a quick review video, and, um, uh, you know, of course, there's more to this if this is a little bit confusing. And, you know, it's understandable if this is new to you why it would be a tad confusing. But the way we can figure this problem out is, one, recognizing that this is a permutation, and we're going to go ahead and use the formula for a permutation. So the situation is this. We want to choose 4 out of 15, okay? We want to consider how many different combinations or how many different permutations, excuse me, uh, 4 out of 15, and order is important, okay? So a permutation is a situation where order, okay, is we're trying to count, okay, uh, uh, the, all the different ways this can happen when order is important. And you're going to see here in a second that a combination is a similar type of problem where order is not important. And we'll look at an example of that in just one second. So here is our formula. And again, uh, you can see it involves factorial. Okay, so here, this n, all right, this n is n factorial up there. So that will, um, this n, you can see this position is to the left of this p. So that's going to be our n. And then right here, this is going to be our k. And we're just going to go ahead and plug things into this formula and calculate this. Now, if you think you can do this, I would say, go ahead and pause the video and see what you come up with. But let's go ahead and take a look at the calculations now. Okay, so here we go. We're going to calculate uh, 15P4, okay? And there's different ways you can uh, state this, but I'm just going to use this simple notation. So the 15, all right, is in the N position, okay? Let's just go back up here and be super clear about it. That's nk. Let me just write this this way. This is p and k. Okay, so right there, our n is 15 and our k is 4. All right, so we're going to put in n factorial. So that's 15 factorial. Okay, and then this is going to be n minus k. So that's 15 minus 4 factorial. So this is what we need to figure out right there. All right, now 15 factorial is a huge, massive number, right? You don't want to just go ahead and take 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 and go all the way down. It you know, would be a massive number. So this is the way uh, you can compute um, these uh, calculations with factorial. And, of course, you can put this into your calculator, but we can work this way as well. So 15 factorial is the same thing as 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11. Now, we can keep going, 11 times 10 times 9, but all of the remaining uh, products this way is the same thing as 11 factorial, all right? Now, I'm just going to stop right there at 11 factorial because look at our denominator here. It's 15 minus 4, which is, in fact, 11 factorial. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, let's take a look, okay? So I have 11 factorial down here in the denominator and 11 factorial up here in the numerator. These are all factors, so I can just cross-cancel these guys and my life becomes way easier. So now I just need to multiply 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 to get the answer. And when I do that, you get 32,760 ways that those four students out of 15 can be lined up in a picture, okay? So that is the answer again. Permutations are when order is important. All right, so let's take a look at combinations. And again, uh, this is a situation where you're trying to count, uh, you know, when you're given a certain amount of things and you want to choose uh, a portion of those, okay? Uh, this would be when order is not important, all right? Now, kind of loosely uh, defining this. Uh, hopefully, you're kind of getting an idea, uh, but, you know, you can't really... Uh, put together a quick video to teach you everything in this, but I am trying to kind of review this or maybe introduce you to this comp concept. So let's go ahead and see how combinations work, and we'll go ahead and read this problem to illustrate how uh, we can use a combination. So how many ways can three letters be chosen from the letters A, B, C, D, and E? Okay, so how many ways can three letters be chosen? Okay, from these letters. Now, if you think about it, if I choose three, maybe I choose A, B, and E. Does it make a difference if I chose an E first, and then an A, then a B? 
No, because these are the same combinations, right? Order doesn't make a difference. Uh, these are the same three letters. So this is an example um, when, you know, when you read the problem, you're like, no, order doesn't make a difference in the way we select things, okay? If order does make a difference, you're talking about our permutation. But if order does not, if it's not important, then we're talking about a combination. And so here is the formula for a combination. So again, given n objects, okay, uh, and we want to take k at a time where order is not important, this is the formula. Now it's similar to the permutation formula, uh, but you know obviously it's not exactly the same. All right, so you got to be careful with this. You don't want to, you know, uh, use the combination formula for permutations and vice versa. But let's go ahead and figure this out. We're going to figure out. Uh, this uh, 5c3 okay so we're going to choose three things uh, given five things we're going to choose three at a time where um, order is not important and we're going to see how many different ways we can do that all right so here is the formula right here okay nck so it's going to be n factorial n minus k factorial times k factorial so what is our n n is 5 all right, so n factorial is going to be 5 factorial. What is k? Well, k is 3. So down in the, in the denominator, it's n minus k, or 5 minus 3 factorial times k, or 3 factorial. So you can see this setup here. All right, so here is the problem. Okay, 5c3. So I'm going to figure out 5 factorial times 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So you can see 5 minus 3 factorial is going to be 2 factorial. I have 5 factorial there and 3 factorial. So now you can, um, these numbers are pretty easy. You can actually go 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 up uh, here in the numerator. And you can calculate this out. But let's try to make this easier just to reinforce um, what we learned in the previous problem. So 5 factorial, I can write as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Okay, now I stopped there. I'm not going to write out the rest of this because I'm going to try to look for opportunities to cross cancel. So here I have, I have 2 factorial times 3 factorial. So 2 factorial times 3 factorial. Now I have an opportunity to cross cancel these like factors. Okay, so 3 factorial and 3 factorial cross cancel. So I just got to figure this out. So 5 times 4 is 20. 2 factorial, 2 times 1 is 2. So our answer is 10. Okay, so there's 10 ways we can choose, okay, three letters out of A, B, C, uh, D, and E. All right, so given these five letters, there's 10 ways we could choose uh, three letters at a time. All right, so uh, the whole idea with permutations and combinations is to be able to deal with these counting problems. This is very, very important, especially um, in topics like um, probability and statistics but you know you want to first start off with these easier problems and really make sure you understand the concept and remember when you're counting and order is important you're talking about permutations when the order is not important you got to really think this uh, through as well then you're talking about a combination all right so hopefully this little video was a uh, good little you know refresher or maybe a uh, you know good introduction hopefully i did my job you know this is not the easiest stuff to uh, learn the first time out but uh, you know i try to make math as clear and understandable as possible and if this uh, was useful in some way please consider smashing that like button and if you're new to my youtube channel please consider uh, subscribing i've been on youtube for 10 plus years have over a thousand plus videos basic to advanced mathematics so uh, all that stuff is there for you so if you like my teaching style i'm making new content all the time and i have a ton of content right now but my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.